Hi and welcome to tutorial 51 in this series of tutorials designed to help you learn TradeStation Easy Language Programming. In this tutorial we're going to create a very very simple strategy that uses data from two data streams applied to the same chart, data 1 and data 2. And I've set up the chart here, you can see data 1 is the 5 minute e-mini and data 2 is the 60 minute e-mini. And then what I've done is applied, just so that we can see what's going on, the standard TradeStation Stochastic to data 1 and I have also applied the standard TradeStation Stochastic to Data 2. And if we were to go Format Analysis Techniques, you'll see that uh, this, this one here is applied to Data 2. And if you were just to double click on that, Format the Indicator, you'll see that this is based on 2 ES uh, E-mini 60 minute. The strategy is a very, very simple one. What we're going to do is set up a buy when the O data one slow K crosses above O data one slow K. That's the stochastic calculated on data one. Also, that the O data two slow K is greater than O data two slow D. In other words, these this stochastic calculated from the 60 minute, the longer time frame E mini, and then similarly the other way around for the sell short. Now, let me just go through how we calculate. The stochastic. To start with, we're just calculating stochastic for data one. So we don't need to do anything special there at all. We just put in the uh, high, low, close, stock length, stock length one, and stock length two. And they are user inputs that I've created up here. And then we, I've created, because this is a multi output function, we've created some variables for these values here. So the function goes away and fills those variables with the various stochastic values. So we don't need to do anything special there at all. But what the, uh, where the trick comes in is in order to do the stochastic of data 2. So what we do here is we say, uh, instead of H, we say H of data 2, L of data 2, and C of data 2. And then if we just tab to the left, well, we've created, uh, we've used the same inputs as we did when calculating the stochastic for data 1. But I've created a new set of variables uh, with 2 in them so that we know it's data two. And the other thing is right at the end of this function, we put of data two. Oops, let me just go back and show you that. So it's uh, almost, uh, well, let's just, okay, we seem to have done something screwy there. I'm just gonna undo what I did. Okay, just go to the end and you'll see it says of data two. The other thing that we've done is when creating those O data two variables, you'll notice that we put in a zero comma data two, zero comma data two. And as I put in the comment, that is called alias, aliasing for the data two data stream. So that is the way that we calculate the stochastics. And then, as I said at the beginning, we've just done a simple crossover using the um, data one stochastics. And then we've also put in a condition using data two. And of course, you could do this for multiple data streams. It doesn't just need to be two. So if we were to go, I've already applied this to the chart. And uh, as I said, you don't need to apply the indicators to the chart, but it just helps you to see what's going on. So I'm just going to go Format, Strategies, and I'm just going to turn this thing on. And then you'll see the strategy applied to the chart. Okay, now having uh, inserted the, the strategy, and you can see it working there on the screen, if we were to go Format, Strategies, and Format again, and click on the Enable intrabar order generation tab there's various tabs here uh, we're clicking on the calculation we're clicking enable intrabar order generation and calculation and if you don't know what that means um, there are some uh, at least one tutorial earlier in the series when I spoke about that but let's just try uh, selecting that we're going to say OK and then close and what you'll see is we get an error message here saying tutorial 51 chart analysis uh, Generate orders intrabar has been disabled, and that is because you cannot do that. You cannot have intrabar order, gener uh, order generation when you've got multiple data streams. That's one of the possible disadvantages of using multiple uh, data streams within a strategy. Anyway, uh, I hope you found uh, that a useful tutorial. Please, uh, if you're not already on our email mailing list, then please join and I'll be happy to let you know whenever we create new tutorials or release new programs. Thank you.